Hey, this is Cameron. Welcome back to the Busy Gardener channel. Today, I am so excited to plant the Blue Java, otherwise known as the ice cream banana plant. Let's get busy. When I first heard about this banana plant, I was intrigued because it's called the ice cream banana plant. I am, uh, I don't know, is it fair to say a fan of ice cream? An addict of ice cream? Have an un, you know, unhealthy relationship with ice cream? I don't know. But uh, this thing is known for having like a custardy or vanilla taste to it. And I looked, I didn't see any in the stores. And I thought, okay, I just kind of gave up hope. I didn't look that hard. And then the other day I was walking through Home Depot, I put up a video about that, and I saw this plant, I had to get it. And so now what I need to do is make sure that before it heats up too much uh, in Southern California here, get this thing in the ground. Now, some things about this plant that I wanna pay attention to when I'm determining where to plant it are, uh, this grows really tall, and it's not like some of these other trees like a jujube or any of the stone fruit where it produces fruit all the way up. This truly only produces at the top of the plant, so I have to let the plant get as tall as it's going to. And from what I read on the back of this uh, info card, this plant is gonna get about 10 to 15 feet tall. And so one issue potentially with that is that I wanna make sure it's um, at the north side of the orchard. Otherwise, when it grows tall, it's gonna be shading out other things. And even if it's not shading them out, I don't want that to be the first thing that I see. So I'm likely gonna put it on the north side of the orchard. So that way it's behind everything and that way it can get tall. And if anything, it'll just provide a bit of a backdrop to what we've got going on. Now, um, I watched actually Charles, Charles Malky's uh, videos. He has this identical stuff planted. It was so funny to go through and um, look for a video about this and then find Charles is growing banana plants at his place. Um, with Ivy Organics, you should check it out too. And so I'm wondering also, this plant says that they want it in partial sun or, you know, some shade. In this area, we've got, and I know that that tall pine tree up there ends up in the afternoon shading out that side of the orchard and the shade kind of goes this way as the day goes on. So if I want something to get tons of sun, it goes on this side of the orchard. If I want something to get partial sun, it goes on that side of the orchard. The question here also has to do with soil quality. One problem here, and you guys have seen here with these avocados if you followed this channel, is that they have just been beaten up. They've been beaten up by the sun, they've been beaten up by poor draining soil. Silty, it doesn't allow water to drain at all, almost like clay. And so I'm, I'm hesitant to put something over here like a banana plant that probably needs a fair decent amount of moisture. Um, you can even just tell the difference between this passion fruit that is dry as a twig and that passion fruit over there that is flowering. Oh, we should go look at that. I flowered for the first time. I'd never seen it um, flower before. Wait a minute. Did the flower close up? Do these flowers close up? Well, anyway, this flower was open earlier today. Maybe they close up when it gets hot. Um, so that way they don't get scorched by the sun. Man, these plants are so smart. Anyway, so when it comes to deciding where I wanna plant this thing, I want it definitely up against the fence, so it's gonna be blocking um, only the fence and not anything, any of the other trees. And yet I'm so scared about the soil. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dig down here and see if it's the silty dry stuff, or if I'm able to find a kind of a pocket of soil with some organic material in it that might be decent draining. So if I do kind of a compaction test, I see that this is able to keep some, keep some moisture in it. So that's really good news. That actually means that there's some organic material in here, there's some moisture in here, and that's good news. I'm, I'm surprised at that little spot right there. It looks like it's doing really well. That might be a good spot for this. Um, it's gonna grow kind of next to our lemon-lime combo over here. It's gonna be back, um, it's gonna get some partial shade as the afternoon goes. And so I think I found a spot for it. I think this banana is gonna go right here. You also get the idea that we live near a rock quarry when two shovelfuls of dirt have, this is just a couple of them. <laughs> We've got so many rocks here, unreal. Talking once again about the soil, just five feet away from this good soil, this good compacting soil, organic material in it is this silty stuff. You see that? Dusty, silty, minuscule pieces that just clog everything up and prevent it from, you can't even water it because it creates a sheen over the top of it. So I'm really glad that we found a spot that has such good soil. Like I've done with my other plantings, 
I have my plant. I've got a little bucket to put some of the mulch in, so that way I'm able to spread the mulch back on top. And then I'm gonna keep this uh, so that I can fill it with all the soil that I'm gonna then later backfill with. A good rule of thumb for digging a hole is that you wanna dig a hole that's twice as wide and twice as deep as the plant that you're planting. Even though you're often gonna backfill, it creates some nice loose soil so that way these roots are able to get purchased in the soil around it. Okay, so when I take this out of the pot, it's gonna be sitting slightly above ground level, which is just fine, especially because I do have some still concerns about drainage here. Um, I'm gonna be planting it slightly above grade. As you can see, I'm taking out millions of rocks continually. And so one thing also to do is when you first are digging a hole for a plant, you wanna scuff up the sides of the hole. You don't want that shovel to make smooth walls around it because then as the roots go out and hit a very smooth wall, they think it's kind of the edge of a pot and won't keep growing. So you wanna crumble that up a little bit so that the roots are able to pass through that area. Okay, so we're gonna kinda of break it up off the sides of the pot a little bit, loosen it so that way it comes down more easily. And Oh yeah, this is gonna sit perfectly. I'm gonna break the roots up on the sides a little bit, so that way the roots uh, start looking for, instead of going around in this circular pattern, start looking for purchase inside the, inside the area around it. So I'm gonna break this up a little bit. See what I'm doing here? Can you see the roots as they're getting loose? Okay, now we're gonna backfill this plant with the um, soil that we've got, that we dug out. bring in some mulch from we have some excess mulch in another area of the old orchard I'm gonna bring it I want a good solid mulch later to keep that moisture uh, in the soil it's gonna keep the temperatures consistent let me grab some more look how great this mulch is Do you see all that fungal activity there that means that this stuff as it's breaking down is gonna put good organic material down into the soil beneath it so this is mu you know music to my ears Final thing to do is to bring a hose over here and water this plant in. Now what watering is gonna do is gonna release all those air pockets in the soil and allow the roots to make really good contact with the soil around it. So that way it gets off to a great start. Something I hadn't mentioned earlier when we were talking about where to plant your trees is that you wanna make sure that it's planted um, in an area that is gonna accomplish for you with the watering. Um, I've planted it uh, along my subtropicals because these are gonna get water year round as opposed to the deciduous trees. I have those on different zones. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to this episode of the Busy Gardener channel. We planted this ice cream banana plant. I can't wait to taste the fruit. It's so hot out here, I'm gonna go inside and get something to drink. Hey, I would love though for you to subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, if that's your thing. If not, that's okay too. Hope we've earned it. Hit that notification bell too so you know when we post new videos. I wanna encourage you, get out there and plant a tree, plant a bush, plant something. It's a lot of fun. Whether you've got one tree in your orchard or 500, until next time, stay busy.